Hey guys, Venus here. Now, this first part of the video is me showing how to set up Pale Moon and 7 Zip. So, if you saw my last tutorial and managed to get it working, skip to the timestamp. If not, continue watching. Alright, now that I've done that out of the way, hi guys, Venus Plays here. So, I'm going to be showing you how to run Warzone on GeForce because you can't do that. So, yeah. Let's just wait for this to fucking load me in. Now, I am on zero hours of sleep right now, so if I sound like shit, that's why. And yeah. Now, I will try and slow things down. But, yeah. Just wait for the skin. Okay, there we go. Shit, sorry for whacking my desk there. So, yeah. And we'll try and slow this part down a bit. But this is how you get Pale Moon. Now, I do think I go quite quickly on this part because, yeah. But you will need three shortcuts. You can just add them in a big picture, set one of them to command prompt shown how to do that countless times. Set so the other one to Hitman. And then copy and CD yourself into the Hitman folder. Right, you don't need to CD yourself first, copy it. Then go down my Pale Moon. So it's just Pale Moon Portable. It's just this one, 64 bit. And then 64 bit. And then once it's downloaded, X big picture, press full square, press CD, press space, and then press control V. And then rename it launcher.exe to just launcher without the exe. There you go, and then Move the Pale Moon file in there and rename the Pale Moon installer to launcher.exe. Then just launch that custom shortcut that I made before and I'll press extract and then change the shortcut to Pale Moon. See that now this is why I have three because I'd like to have a separate one for Pale Moon. So you just go into your Hitman folder and then launch Pale Moon. <laughs> I know that's briefing over quite a lot. But yeah. Hopefully you guys get it. A lot of you did, but a few of you didn't last time. So if you follow what I'm doing on screen, I just changed my download location. All you gotta do is press browse. Search for program in the top right and then press custom and then type C colon backslash in the box where I do and then just press enter and then press OK. And then you should be able to find the Steam folder. And then just select that folder. Okay. And then you should be able to download 7-zip from here. So you just search 7-zip portable. Now a lot of you had trouble on installing 7-zip because this part sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. So yeah, press so far and then rename it. So don't forget, just CD yourself into it. Okay. And then rename launcher.exe just to launcher and then random numbers. There you go. And then rename, and then no, sorry, move. Oh, wait, no, you can just rename 7 zip to launcher.exe and then go in here. And then paste the location and delete the quotations. And then press install and it should give you an error. If it gives you this error, press OK, and then press browse. And then if you follow the folder that I go to, and boom, hit. 
and then press OK and install. If you don't have that folder, which you should do, but if you don't, come over here, right click on Hitman, and then press Browse Local Files. So we'll go Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. If you click that like once or just spam it, and then if you go back on there, you'll have the folder. And then you've just got to rename the 7-zip file manager to um, fucking launcher.exe. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but hey ho. Bro, my room is like some weird ass temperature. I take my fucking jumper off here and it's like cold, but I put it on and it's boiling. So I'm going off topic and just... I don't know what the fuck I was doing here. I think I had some like fucking mental breakdown recording this video. But yeah. Fuck me, how long do I take? Right. So I just rename it 7 zip and then change the shortcut. And once you've changed the shortcut to 7 zip. Bing, bong, launch the file manager. There we go, now this is me getting the uh, link, so I do have this blurred. Don't worry, you won't need to do any of the thing I'm doing, this is just because I hosted it on my drive, so I need to get it into a tiny link. So there we are. Go, I'm done, I'm tinying it now. And yeah, there we go. So just paste the link that I do. Link will be on screen. Or oh, is on screen, I can see it. Uh, yeah. Press download. I'll press download anyway. Press save file, okay. Now, once it's done, you need to have two 7-zips open, so just press play again. And then this little bar where I click, just paste. You should still have the location copied, and do that for both of them. Then open the zip folder that should be there, and drag everything in this one into the left one. Or from the left to right, depending on which way you did it. And launch, uh, I think it's... Modern Warfare Launcher, I think it's called. Just launch that file and select your language. And yeah. This is a slightly modified way because for some reason the way everyone else did it, couldn't, I couldn't get it to work. So I did slightly modify it. But yeah. Now, you need to make sure that you select a drive with a terabyte. So to check if your drive is a terabyte, go all the way back, just spam this button that I spam, and then click computer. And then make sure it says like a million, I think it is, or a thousand or something. It's usually the G drive, but the, the number that my G drive has. You need to make sure that drive has it, and then open a drive with that number. Then copy this thing that I copied with control C. Press change now. Right here is important. Drag download onto desktop, says create link. Then right click the shortcut, press properties and paste location. Press OK, open it. Sorry if I went a bit fast, but yeah. Once that location set, you can press continue and let it install. So yeah, sorry if I went a bit fast, but you should be able to slow down the video and see what I do. Now make sure you, when you did that, you right click to the shortcut, not the fucking folder, because if you right click the folder, it will probably kick you. It does normally. So yeah, we'll just let this install. I will obviously blur my login info. It's not even my main account, but it does have a personal email on there. 
So he won that again, Ike. So you know. So we'll just wait for this to fucking install. So, yeah, give it a second. And ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Fuck me, it takes forever. It doesn't, but like it does when you're doing a voiceover. There you go. And boom, login page. So I am gonna log in with Google. If you have a Blizzard account, you can log in for something else. Say you're trying to do this for Overwatch. This does work for Overwatch. You just you obviously install Overwatch instead of Warzone. But here I am signing in. Again, this will be blurred. Yep, yeah, it's blurred. There you go. I can see it. Don't know how insane this audio is gonna be. Depends how much of editing I can be asked. Like I said, zero hours of sleep. So yeah. Let me just quickly sign in. And. And. Jesus Christ, how long does it take me to click a number on my phone? There we go. Okay, so. Boom, I'm signed in. Press OK on this error. It will show up for everyone. It always does. Just press OK. And then install Warzone. Make sure your date of birth when you put this in is above 18. And yeah. Press skip now. Now we'll press change. Go over to the desktop and just open the shortcut we made before and then press select folder. Again, that was quick. So I'll just say it again whilst this is rambling on the speed up, right? So whilst this is getting sped up, you go onto the desktop, select the shortcut that we made earlier and then just press select folder and it will do its magic. Okay, now that that speed up's done and it's almost finished installing, there you go. And that's how to get Warzone everybody, I do launch it. Now here's the important part, you, must, you can't sign up for the Activision account in the game. It will not work, it will kick you out of GeForce, I don't know fucking why, but it does. So make it on your web browser on your own computer and then sign in with that in the game. But do not make one in game because it doesn't work. It will just say you have a spotty connection and kick you out. So I do load into the game, as you can see here. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you get Warzone. No, it loads. Warzone's always laggy on the loading screen for some reason. But I hope you enjoyed, found the seesaw. If you did, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and yeah, peace. Look at my life, feel my pain. When it comes to me, you are not the same. This is so far from a game. What you saying? It ain't nothing but hard work and dedication. Quit complaining. Look at my life, feel my pain. When it comes to me, you are not the same. This is so far from a game. What you saying?